Welcome. So this meditation is for processing traumatic memories, healing them with your attention and sweet awareness. I highly recommend that you don't use this meditation for your most traumatic memories as you might want to have a therapist around if you would go into very heavy, intense, bad memories. But if you feel like you would like to heal some more minor traumas, this meditation will be very suited and I hope you will receive some relief. Make yourself comfortable. You can lie down or sit upright. In any case, make sure that the place where you are now choosing to meditate is a place where you feel safe. Also, for example, to express yourself with crying if you feel like that. And when you're ready, get comfortable and close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths. To settle into the meditation. Imagine walking through this beautiful crystal cave. And all the crystals are radiating beautiful soft light. And the beauty also brings you a bit of peace in your heart. You walk slowly and relaxed through this cave. Finally reaching a bit of a central hole in that cave. There is a special wall here, which you go and sit in front of. It's a flat surface, shiny, like crystals are. And now you can, with your mind, ask this wall to show you whatever you want to be shown. And you can also, at any point, ask the wall to become a normal wall again, to stop showing whatever it was showing to you. And I would like to ask you to now pick a memory, a trauma, 
can also be a cluster of memories to work with during this meditation. And now, if you like to, proceed with this meditation. When you're ready, you can ask the ball to show you this trauma. Just like watching a video or photographs, you're going to watch the details of the trauma that you want to process. And you can watch it from your safe spot. You're not right in the memory. You're just watching it without trying to change it. Just processing what happened. Now take your time to do so. Check in with yourself. Are you still breathing? Into your belly. And see if you can calm yourself down with gentle breathing while you're going through the details of that trauma. while you're letting that trauma be in your awareness. You don't need to remember all the details. Just whatever pops up. Be with it. And see if you can keep breathing all the way down into your belly. Notice your own feelings. Do you hate the memory? Does it make you feel ashamed? Does it make you feel scared? Does it make you feel sad? What comes up in you while watching this wall?
and place one or two hands on your heart. See if you can give like 50% of your attention to being with yourself, being with your heart and the other half of your attention to still watching that memory. See if your hands on your heart can make it a little bit easier to accept that all of this happened. Now let your hands rest again, wherever you want to. And ask the ball, the crystal ball that has been showing you this trauma. Ask it to stop showing it to you. Let it turn back into that beautiful crystal ball. And so there you find yourself again, sitting in that crystal cave. Safely, because this memory is already of the past. Acknowledge that you survived it and that it wasn't easy. That surely you did your best to take good care of yourself. Yet, this happened, this overcame you. And right now is a perfect moment to be with yourself in compassion. See if you can find, perhaps, a little bit of lightness around it. Knowing that you've made a step in processing the trauma, in loving yourself, in accepting the past. In opening yourself up 
for a better future. Take a couple of deep breaths. Check in with yourself. Is there anything you need before you can finish this meditation? Once you're ready, wiggle your toes, your fingers, take one more deep breath in, and on your out breath, blink your eyes open. You can repeat this meditation as often as you like, as long as you feel it benefits your healing process. And you can also use it for different memories. For now, I wish you a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you for meditating along with me.